right now my latest uh, kick is painting silk scarves. Oh, this one. upside down. This is wonderful. It's beautiful. And you know you take a, a white piece of fabric and you decide what you want to put on it. Yeah. Yeah that's Oh me. I love the lily, the yellow lilies, how beautiful. Yeah. I'm getting better at it. I can see that. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, this one also. Um, when I'm too sick to sit and do it, <laughs> I go down and I do something like this. And I say, well, I just like to do color. <laughs> well, that is... Uh, the first time I was diagnosed, uh, I didn't say, why me? You know, that, oh, uh, woe is me. I said, you know, there's got to be a reason. My husband had cancer, my mother had cancer, and now me. And so I said, you know, uh, there's a reason for me to have it. It's to help others others get through it because um, I think the diagnosis is really scary. Uh, you don't know what to expect, you don't know how bad it is, you don't know the stage it is. And so I think people go into a panic mode. But if you can say to them, you know, look, I got through it, you can do it. And uh, they look at me and they say, yeah, you did. <laughs> I really, I really have to thank cancer. You have to thank cancer. I thank the Lord that I had cancer. Because I was a self-effacing person. Uh, I had no self-image of myself that was decent. Um, I didn't think I was... Um, <laughs> after two husbands who put me down, <laughs> I didn't think I was capable of doing anything. I'm, I'm not a survivor. I'm you not are. a survivor. Survivor to me is somebody who's struggling. And I am not struggling. I enjoy my life. I do something I enjoy doing every day. What kind of things do you enjoy doing? I, and I It can be a little thing like polishing my nails. It can be just going to uh, something different on the computer and looking something up. Uh, it can be any little thing that I really enjoy doing and I get pleasure out of. I'm not a survivor. I'm a living. 